Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing another episode of Indie Gear. It is long overdue. Been uh, very, very busy with a tiny house uh, last month or two. Still trying to get back on track with my YouTube videos, but uh, I will keep them coming the best I can. But uh, today we're going to be going over the pants. Uh, I am, I'm just going to say this up front, I'm a little biased when it comes to the pants. Uh, there's two main things you're going to be looking for uh, aside from the color, obviously, when you're looking for a pair of good indie pants. You want the crease down the middle of the legs, uh, like any good pair of work pants would have. And you want the flaps on the back pockets. The flaps on the back pockets are going to cost you. And to be quite frank, I don't have a pair, and uh, I will go over why as we go through this video. But uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, as usual, uh, with my other videos of, of indie gear, I'm going to be starting with the very cheapest option and going up to the most expensive, and then showing you what I have and why I went with what I've got. So, for starters, um, eBay is a great option. You can look for uh, khaki pants, you can look for safari pants, you can look for field pants, or maybe a type of cargo pant that doesn't have the uh, the side pocket on the leg. Uh, I know a couple of those are out there, like uh, uh, police uniform pants, for example, would have that. Obviously not the right color, but something similar to that. Um, the color is going to vary quite a bit depending on which movie you're going for. Um, Raiders was a, and Temple both, had like a grayish color to the pants. Last Crusade had more of a, a brownish color going on, and Crystal Skull also had that brownish color, but it was a little bit lighter. So it kind of depends on what you want. It's the same thing with the jackets. They all look just a little bit different, so it's kind of uh, what you're going for. Obviously, for the people who uh, are paying attention to this channel, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the Raiders look for the most part. So most of the pants I have that I'm going to be showing you are Raiders-ish looking. I do have one pair of Last Crusade pants that I'll show you as well. But uh, yeah, start with eBay. Now obviously the problem with eBay is the color may not be quite right, depending on your screen. It may or may not fit just right. You know, there are obviously some issues with, with buying clothing on eBay, especially if you want it to have a very, very specific look. However, for a cheap option, it's a good place to start. Uh, most you know, pants you get off eBay could go from anywhere from five to thirty bucks. So it's a really, really good option to just get your foot in the door. A better option, in my opinion, is just going to your local thrift store or Kmart or Bymart or something like that and shopping for the pants yourself in a, probably the men's casual business section. Uh, you can find lots of khaki pants there, no problem. Uh, work pants, whatever, and then you'll know that they fit just right you'll know that they, they have the color that you're looking for, and you're probably going to pay about the same amount at the end of the day, unless you go for the thrift store, in which case you're going to pay even less. Uh, a couple of these pants over here behind me, I got for five bucks. So I'll be showing those to you. Uh, but as usual, we're going to be going over all the options here. Let's take a peek what else we got here. Um, if you're looking for a more screen accurate pair of pants with the flaps, that's where the price is going to skyrocket. The cheapest pair of pants I could find while I was doing research for this video was Costume Base uh, on Amazon. Uh, they do have a pretty good pair of pants on there, and they have the, the flaps on the back pockets, and the color looks pretty good. It looks, it looks like a, a Last Crusade-ish type pair of pants, and maybe if you got them a little dirty, they'd start looking like uh, Raiders pants. Uh, those were on Amazon were 45 bucks. In the shirt video I did, we went over the costume base shirt, and I actually really like it. I think it's a great shirt for for the price. The pants I'm not so sure about, just because um, the quality of the fabric is pretty thin. So I mean, with the shirt that's fine. With the pants, they're going to see a little bit more wear and tear. So I'm not sure how long a pair of pants from costume base is actually going to last you. So buy at your own risk. I have no experience with the pants from them. They may be okay, they may not be. However, that was the cheapest pair of pants I could find online that had the flaps. 
Now, if you want the, the high quality pants with the flaps, there's a couple of options for you. Uh, what Price Glory makes a great pair of, of indie pants, and they have the flaps, and I also really like the color on them. They're also the cheapest pair of high quality screen accurate indie pants that I could find, and they're 75 bucks. Um, what Price Glory I've mentioned in several of my other videos, and I'll be mentioning more videos when we cover uh, straps, bags, those sorts of things. Uh, they make great, great stuff. Uh, I've got nothing bad to say about them, and if you're looking for a pair of high-quality pants, uh, that might be the, the best spot for you. However, they're not based in the U.S. Uh, I believe they're over in the U.K. somewhere, so for people buying in the States, the shipping is going to cost you. I bought a nice bag from them, and I think the shipping was like 30 bucks. I also bought the backpack that Indy carries in Crystal Skull, also from what price glory. And again, the shipping was like 30 bucks. So if you're going to uh, buy stuff from What Price Glory, I'd just buy all of it at once. So you're saving yourself on the shipping money. Get get the, the bag strap, get the bag, get a holster, get probably two shirts, get the pants, get whatever you need. Just get it all in one lump sum so the shipping doesn't kill you quite as bad. That would be my suggestion if you're going to buy from them. Uh, next option is Todd's Costumes. They also make a great pair of pants. However, as with most of their other great indie stuff, they're always out of stock. Uh, they're always out of stock with their hats. They're always out of stock with their jackets. Uh, they make a good holster. They usually have that in stock. Uh, boots, they're always out of stock on. So it's really hit and miss with Todd's costumes. If they have something you want and they got it in stock, buy it. Uh, it's a great price point for pretty much anything you buy on there. Uh, they're going to be running about $85, but the shipping is going to be less. So probably comparable to what price glory uh, when all is said and done uh, if I had to choose between the two I'd go with what price glory especially if you're planning on buying like making a bulk order and getting all of it at once because they've got a lot of good stuff there uh, Wested also makes a great pair of pants I've mentioned Wested quite a few times in multiple videos not just indie related stuff but I'm, I'm a big big fan of Wested um, their, their pants are, again, going to be expensive. They're about 89 pounds, which I think comes out to somewhere around 120 bucks, plus shipping. However, it's a really, really good pair of pants. Does it compare with What Price Glory? At that price point, no, I don't think it does. I'd still go with the What Price Glory pants. But uh, just uh, throwing all those options out there for you. Obviously, if you're in the UK... The shipping isn't going to kill you as much, so you've probably got some more options. It seems like most of the good indie stuff is based in the UK, so if you live over there, the shipping's not going to kill you, and so you have a few more options to go with. Magnolia Clothiers is going to be the last uh, company that I talk about here as far as pants go. Again, they make great products. I've mentioned Magnolia Clothiers in a couple of my other videos. Honestly, I've got a real big issue with them. Uh, they make great stuff, there's no question about it, but it's just horribly, horribly overpriced. Um, a good pair of indie pants from Magnolia Clothier Clothiers is going to cost you $195. I'm sorry, I just can't justify that. You can get three nice pairs of pants from what price glory for that price. Just They're, they're taking themselves out of the running by charging so much for their stuff. I know some people buy it and, and they really, really like it, but there are better options out there. So that pretty much covers all the companies that make good indie pants out there. I'm going to show you mine here in just a minute. And uh, why I have what I have, I'm telling you right now, all these pants behind me are from Kmart, Goodwill, other thrift shops. Pretty much wherever I could find a good pair of pants while I was out shopping, I just bought it. I can't justify spending a ton of money for the little flaps on the back pockets. I just can't. Uh, most of you know that I'm shooting a movie right now, and even in all the movie scenes, you barely see those pockets. If you're going to a con, what are you going to do? Go take pictures of your butt? It's just not going to show. There's just there's no justification to spend that much money so that you have the flaps. I just can't do it. I'm, I'm a huge indie fan. I'm really, really you know, nitpicky about having my stuff look good, but when it comes to the pants... I ain't spending that kind of money on a pair of pants. Now, some of you can, that's fine. I'm just telling you what I do. So, without further ado, let's just go into what I've got here. Um, 
we'll start with the pair that gets worn the least amount because it's a Last Crusade pant. I got these pants at Goodwill for five bucks. Uh, khaki diem on the inside of them for, you know, those of you that that actually means something to. And they're Dockers, good brand. Really, really uh, rugged. They'll hold up against a lot of action. You know, I don't just stand around in my indie gear. I go out there and I get dirty. I'm running around in the woods. I'm climbing cliffs. I'm getting thrown over a fence for a scene in my movie. You know, whatever. I want my pants to take some punishment, and these will do the job. Uh, back, no flaps. But again, I mean, they, they look great. They feel great. They're, they're heavy duty. They look nice with the outfit. Five bucks. I can't complain. That is the only set of uh, Last Crusade Crystal Skull-ish pants that I have. All the other ones are aimed at Raiders, because that's the look that I like. These, bought at Goodwill, seven bucks. Uh, as you can see, these have much more of a, a grayish tint to them, because that's what the Raiders pants are going for. I also like my pants a little on the baggy side, just so that I can move in them a little easier. Uh, that is also true to the movies, particularly Crystal Skull. The pants were quite a bit baggier in that film. Uh, let's see, these are St. John's Bay. That's actually a pretty good brand for uh, clothing, period. And relaxed fit, obviously. But again, no, no pocket flaps. None of these are going to have the pocket flaps. But I spent less than $30 on all these pants. So, what are you going to do? These, not as heavy, uh, heavy duty as the uh, Last Crusade ones. This is more of a backup pair. For those that follow this channel, I have like five complete indie outfits. I've got uh, maybe about eight shirts, two jackets, two bags, multiple pairs of boots. You know, I, I make sure that I've got my, my stuff ready to go. Uh, I like to dress as uh, indie in Disneyland quite a bit, and, you know, I want to be able to do that for five days straight, so I can, like, fill a suitcase with indie stuff and have a clean pair of indie gear every single day, so it's pretty cool. Another Raiders pair here. These are lighter. Um, this is another backup pair. I personally find these to be a little bit too light to my liking, but, again, I got these five bucks at Goodwill. And this is a Banana Republic pair of pants, also a good brand. Uh, these are more heavy duty than the St. John's Bay. This is more like the uh, the Last Crusade one that I showed earlier. But again, a nice rugged pair of pants, and they look great. Can't complain. And the last pair. This is my favorite pair. This pair gets worn more than all the other pairs of pants that I just showed you combined. Uh, this is also the pair that I've been using for my movie. I got these at Kmart. They were 12 bucks. Basic Editions. Never heard of that brand. They were just at Kmart. I saw them. I really, really liked the look. I liked the color. Um, they're lighter than some of the other pants I just, I just showed you, but still a really, really nice, durable material. And I have shot every action scene for my entire movie wearing these pants and they still look great. So, I think that says something about how good these pants are. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a dark spot going on right in this area. I don't know if that'll show up on camera or not. That's from the whip rubbing against it. So, that shows how much I've worn these pants and what great condition they're still in. $12. So anyway, you know, do the math. Do what you want to do. If you want to spend the money so that you can have those pocket flaps, by all means, go ahead. I won't lie, I've definitely thought about doing that on more than one occasion, just because I'm so nitpicky about my stuff. But, you know, I'm putting all my money into this tiny house right now, and I just can't justify spending 80 bucks so that I can have those little flaps. But, uh, that's my that's my two cents on, on the indie pants and all the options that are on the table for you. You can go with any of them, 
you'll be happy with what you get. Uh, the only one I would caution on probably is costume paste because like I said I don't know what kind of material they use for the pants and if you're gonna spend the money to get those pocket flaps get what price glory. That's all I'm gonna say. They, they make a great pair of pants. All their stuff is rugged. You know, buy in bulk so that the shipping doesn't kill you. That's what I do. But I, you know, as in these other videos, I, I list all the options on the table and you can go with what you like. So, uh, next episode we're going to be doing the boots. Uh, the boots are obviously a big, a big part of the outfit and there are many options available for those as well. So, stay tuned folks and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.